कार्तिक हम बहुत विशेष दिन में इधर उपस्थित हुए हैं क्योंकि अभी कार्तिक आ रहा है रविवार से कार्तिक शुरू हो रहा है तो महाराज बोल रहे हैं कि हम आप सबको जगाने के लिए आए हैं कि कार्तिक में हम क्या करना चाहिए इधर के सबको जगाना चाहता हूँ करके बोल रहे हैं We just had the Sarah two days ago. Yesterday was a Karasi, today is the Dwarasi, and then Dwarasi, Chaturasi, then Purnima, then the first day of Kartik. So that's uh, Kartik month, it's a very favorite month of Srimati Radharani. She is also known as Kartik. One of the names of Radharani is Kartik. तो अभी दशहरा खत्म हुआ है हाल ही में तो दो दिन पहले तो अभी आने वाला जो पूर्णिमा है उससे कार्तिक शुरू हो रहा है और ये बहुत विशेष महीना है क्योंकि राधा रानी का एक नाम भी कार्तिक है तो इस नाम से भी बहुत महत्वपूर्ण है सो वी कैन डेफिनेटली प्लीज श्रीमाथी राधा रानी इफ वी फॉलो If we do some nice spiritual practice during that month of during this month of Kartik. So Kartik में यदि हम कुछ सेवा करेंगे तो राधा रानी अवश्य प्रसन्न होगी. So what is a nice spiritual practice? What kind of practice do we need to do which will allow us to get the blessings of Shrimati Radha Rani? तो ऐसा हमको क्या करना चाहिए जो अभ्यास करने के लिए जिससे हम राधा रानी को प्रसन्न कर सके या वो हमको आशीर्वाद दे सके ऐसा क्या करना चाहिए हमको श्रीमाथी राधा रानी इज पर्सोनिफिकेशन शी इज लटिनी शक्ति द प्लेजर पोटेंसी ऑफ लॉर्ड कृष्णा हर मूड इज टू गिव प्लेजर टू कृष्णा सो इफ वी कैन डू एन वट एवर एक्टिविटीज वी डू इफ वी कैन समहा गिव सम प्लेजर टू कृष्णा Then that is the greatest blessing. तो राधा रानी जो है लादनी शक्ति है लादनी शक्ति का अर्थ है कि वो केवल भगवान को आनंद देने वाली तो ऐसा कार्य करना चाहिए हमको जिससे भगवान को प्रसन्नता हो जाए भगवान को आनंद हो जाए तो ऐसा करने से राधा रानी खुद बहुत प्रसन्न हो जाती है हम सबसे In Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna explains that he can only be understood by devotion. There is no other way in which we can actually know Krishna other than by devotional service. So, Bhagavad Gita में भगवान बता रहे हैं, बताते हैं कि भगवान को हम केवल भक्ति के द्वारा ही जाना जा सकते हैं, कोई दूसरा उपाय नहीं है. You can do some karma kandi activity. Karma kandi activities are, you know, they're materialistic. There are activities which we do for our own selfish benefit. They're not spiritual activities. They're simply material activities which we do because we want to get some material be be blessing for ourselves, for our own material pleasure. So, the karma kind of vivaag is that there is no one who is a good person 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 who is a good person. तो उसकी पूर्ति के लिए ऐसा कुछ कार्य अनुष्ठान करता है तो ये आध्यात्मिक नहीं है और ये जो हम कार्य करते हैं वो इधर ही खत्म हो जाता है इसलिए आध्यात्मिक कार्य करना चाहिए इन भागवत गीता लॉर्ड कृष्ण डिस्क्राइब्स द रिजल्ट ऑफ कर्म कांडे एक्टिविटीज इट कैन ओपन द डोर्स टू हेवन कैन टेक यू टू द हायर प्लैनेट्स बट इट्स नॉट गोइंग टू टेक अस इन टू द स्पिरिचुअल वर्ल्ड इट्स नॉट गोइंग टू गिव अस लिबरेशन तो कर्मकांड विभाग के बारे में भगवान भगवदगीता में बोलते हैं और वो बताते हैं कि ये कर्मकांड हमको स्वर्ग का द्वार तक लेके जा सकता है स्वर्ग तक पहुंचा सकता है लेकिन उससे आगे हमको मोक्ष या भगवत धाम नहीं पहुंचा सकता बट अलिटो बेट डिवोशन इफ वी हैव अलिटो इफ वी डिवेलप सम भक्ति अलिटो बेट ऑफ भक्ति दैट कैन गिव अस द ग्रेटेस्ट बेनिफिट दैट द बेनिफिट ऑफ भक्ति इज दैट वी कैन We, we can go on to develop pure love for Krishna. तो हम यदि थोड़ा ही भक्ति कर लेंगे थोड़ा सा भी तो हमको ऐसा प्रगति करके लेके जाएगा कि अंततः हम लोग कृष्ण का प्रेम या भगवत प्रेम प्राप्त करा के ही छोड़ेगा थोड़ा सा करने से भी कृष्ण डिस्क्राइब्स इन भागवत गीता योगा लैडर 
higher than karmakandi activities, we say karmakandi activities, they're simply material activities, ritualistic activities. But on the spiritual platform, there is karma yoga. Karma yoga means you should perform our duty in a detached manner, offering the results of our work for the pleasure of the Lord. Please put your phones in the silent mode to avoid disturbances. If, because if all of you, you know, one person every five minutes, if somebody's phone goes off every five minutes, it's a very big distraction. So we ask everyone, please put your phone in silent vibration mode. So, so karma yoga is described in the Bhagavad Gita. Krishna explains karma yoga. Karma ni evadi karaste ma pali shukdachana na karma pali he turbur makti sangosva karma ni. Krishna is describing karma yoga to Arjuna. He says to Arjuna, you have a right to perform your duty, but you are not entitled to the results of the work. Never be attached to not performing your duty and never consider yourself to be the cause of the results of action. So, so karma yoga is very powerful, very good activity. Karma yoga is it leads, it comes very close to bhakti yoga. And karma yoga is something which, you know, we can often perform, we do a little bit karma yoga here and there. Maybe you come and you help clean the temple, you sweep the temple floor, or you help to cut the vegetables, or you bring some flowers, or you cut, bring some fruits to offer to the deity. That can be done in the mood of karma yoga. So, just to say, karma yoga, we can see that if we go to the temple and clean the temple, or if we prepare something for the Lord's vigraha, or if we bring some fruits, then what can we do? That is karma yoga. We can do something from this way. Yes, we can do something from this way. We can do something from this way. We can do something from this way. But it may also be simply agyat sukriti. It may just simply be some pious activity which we're doing unknowingly. And it, it comes close to karma yoga. But karma yoga, the idea is I'm giving this, I'm doing this for the Supreme. Of course, who is the Supreme? Dif people will have different ideas about that. Just like we just had Dasera and many people are worshipping Durga, and many were worshipping Ganesh, and there are so many different gods and they're, everyone is thinking that they're, they're all the Supreme. So who is actually the Supreme? <laughs> So, 
क्योंकि अभी दशहरा आया तो उधर बहुत सारे दुर्गा पूजा किए और उससे थोड़ा पहले गणेश चतुर्थी आया तो उधर में गणेश की पूजा किए तो इसमें हम कैसे समझ पाएंगे कि कौन से श्रेष्ठ है और किन की पूजा किया जाए Even there was some confusion among the great sages in the higher planets. The great sages were also thinking, who is supreme? Is Brahma the supreme, or Vishnu, or Shiva? Who is the supreme? So they got Brigham Muni that you should go and find out who is the supreme. So, केवल इधर ही नहीं ये समस्या तो उच्च स्तरीय लोगों में कभी कभी ऐसा प्रश्न उड़ जाता है कि श्रेष्ठ कौन है और किन की विशेष पूजा किया जाए. तो सारे ऋषि मुनियों ने एक बार क्या किया सभा रखा उधर में सबने निर्णय लिया कि हमको पता लगाना ही चाहिए कि सबसे शक्तिशाली कौन है भगवान किसको हम पूछ सकते हैं तो उन्होंने भृगु मुनि को आगे लगाया कि तो उनके माध्यम से चलो आप जाके पहचानो कि भगवान कौन है सबसे शक्तिशाली भृगु मुनि Brigham Muni is also son of Brahma. You see, so Shiva also son of went to see Lord Shiva, and Lord Shiva saw Brigham Muni come and he was thinking, my brother, and he came to embrace him, but Brigham Muni said, don't touch me, you're all ashes, you've got these snakes on your body, don't you touch me. So Brigham Muni is the first time he came to Shiva Ji, because Shiva Ji was his big brother, because he was both of Brahma Ji's brother. तो शिवजी ने बोले कि चलो मेरा भाई आया है तो उन्होंने सोचा कि चलो गले लगा लो उनसे तो जब शिवजी दौड़ते हुए गए भृगु मुनि को गले लगाने के लिए लेकिन भृगु मुनि बोले नहीं नहीं मुझे तुम मत छोड़ो क्योंकि तुम सारा विभूति लगाए हो अपने शरीर में और फिर गले में सांप भी है तो ये बहुत खतरनाक है हमारे पास मत आओ करके उन्होंने रोक दिया And when Brigu Muni was talking to him like that, Shiva became angry. He said, "What? You don't want me to touch you? Ah, I'll get." And then got his trident. He was ready. He was going to kill Brigu Muni. So, when he heard this, he was very angry. 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 <laughs> so, <laughs> so, Lord uh, Brigham Muni was. Uh, Angry, but his wife was there, fortunately, and Parvati came, and she got a hold of. She put her arms around Lord Shiva, and she just pleaded with him, "This is your brother. You can't kill him. He's your brother." And he, and she turned while she was holding Lord Shiva in her arms. She turned to Brigham Muni and said, "You better get away from here quick if you want to save your life." So Brigham Muni had to get out. तो सुबह के बाद पार्वती उधर ही थी इसलिए पार्वती ने तुरंत जाके क्या किया शिव जी का हाथ पकड़ लिया नहीं तो त्रिशूल के बिरगु मुनि को मारने के लिए दौड़ पड़े थे तो पार्वती ने पकड़ के उनको वापस लाए बोला तुम्हारा भाई ऐसा क्यों कर रहे हो एक तो ब्राह्मण भी है ऐसे व्यक्ति को नहीं मारा जा सकता और उन्होंने शिव जी का हाथ पकड़ते हुए बिरगु मुनि की तरफ देखते हुए बोले कि आप जल्दी इधर से भाग जाइए यदि आप अपना प्राण बचाना चाहते हैं तो जल्दी इधर से निकलिए Brigo Muni went, well, then went to see Lord Brahma, who is like his father, and he went to see Lord Brahma. But when he came there to see Lord Brahma, he did not offer respects to Brahma, and Brahma was not pleased. That this is my son, and he he's just like this. He doesn't even respect me. So after that, Brahma ji unke pita lagte the, lekin unhone koi pranam nahi kiya. Isse sirf bhus gaye. तो इसमें ब्रह्मा जी थोड़ा क्रोधी हुआ क्योंकि बेटा होते हुए तो अकेले सम्मान तो करना चाहिए कम से कम नमस्ते करना चाहिए ऐसा कुछ नहीं किया इसलिए वो बड़ा क्रोधित हुए ब्रह्मा जी सो लॉर्ड ब्रह्मा यू नो ही इज आल्सो गुना अवतार ही इज एक्चुअली इन चार्ज ऑफ द राजगुण सो ही ही वाज अ बिट डिस्टर्ब टू ही सॉ ब्रगु मुनि नॉट प्रॉपर्ली रिस्पेक्टिंग हिम ही वाज नॉट प्लीज्ड विद हिम बट ही समहाउ ही वाज एबल टू कंट्रोल हिज पैशन But Brigu Muni could see that Brahma was disturbed. So Brahma ji, Rajagun ki avatar hai. 
तो इसलिए कवि का ये रजोगुण व्यक्ति को प्रभावित बना देता है तो जब ऋगुमुनि ने देखा कि उनकी व्यवहार से ब्रह्मा जी का मन क्या हो गया विचलित हो गया कि रजोगुण के प्रभाव में आ गए तो वो समझ गए कि इनको भी कुछ लोहो रहा है अभी so then bhrigu muni went to sweta dwip to see lord vishnu and he saw lord vishnu was laying down and lakshmi was there massaging his lotus feet and bhrigu muni came in there and he saw vishnu laying there and he just kicked him on the chest to uske baad phir bhrigu muni samajh gaye ki brahma ji ko bhi thoda prabhavit ho gaye karke uske baad ki tarah se wo chal diye और श्वेतदीप गए जिधर में भगवान विष्णु से सया पर सोए हुए थे और लक्ष्मी उनकी चरण दबा रही थी तो उधर में भृगु मुनि पहुंच गए तो उन्होंने जाके देखा तो भगवान तो सोए हुए हैं योग निंद्रा में थे तो उन्होंने देखा कि ऐसे सोए हुए व्यक्ति को तो क्या करना चाहिए तो उन्होंने जमा के छाती में लात मार दिया and sir on the chest of krishna also to kavikal ye dikhai deta hai bhagwan krishna ke vishnu ke sharir mein bhi brigumri ka jo pair ka nishana abhi bhi kayo mein paya jata hai so lord vishnu what did he do after being kicked on the chest he got up and he said to brigo he said oh my dear brigo he said, i hope you did not hurt your foot on my hard chest to bhagwan jab na khane ko turant uthe और देखा कि तो भृगु ब्राह्मण आए हुए हैं तो उन्होंने तुरंत हाथ जोड़ के विनम्रता पूर्वक ब्राह्मण देव से बोले कि अरे ब्राह्मण देव आप आ गए हैं आपके चरण को तो दर्द नहीं हुआ क्योंकि मेरा ये पत्थर जैसा छाती था तो आपके चरण को शायद दर्द होगा होगा दिखाइए करके भगवान को ब्राह्मण के चरण देखने लगे तो भृगु वॉज रियली एस्टॉनिस्ट सी लॉर्ड विष्णु वॉज सो टॉलरेंट तो ने देखा कि जो सहन शक्ति थी तो ये देखिए वो आश्चर्यचकित हो गए क्योंकि एक तो इधर में लात मारे थे फिर भी उनको सहन कर लिया तो इससे वो बहुत प्रभावित हुए बट लक्ष्मी द कॉन्सर्ट ऑफ द लॉर्ड शी टू का फैंस एंड शी बिकॉज शी शी थॉट इफ दिस दिस ब्राह्मणा इज ट्रीटिंग माय हस्बैंड लाइक दिस आई एम गोइंग टू कर्स ऑल द ब्राह्मण्स that they will never get my blessing so never be my blessing so you see all the brahmans today real brahmans that they don't have wealth they don't have any blessings from lakshmi to idhar mein bhagwan to kuch nahi hua unko lekin bhagwan ki jo patni thi lakshmi devi unko sahan nahi hua wo badi krodhit ho gayi kyunki aapne pati ke chhati mein laat maara to wo sahan nahi hua unko to unhone shraap de diya ki bol diya ki aaj ke baad main brahman ke ghar mein nahi aaungi तो जो इसलिए दिखा जाता है कि बहुत सारे जो सच में ब्राह्मण है वो वास्तव में वो गरीबी है आज भी क्योंकि लक्ष्मी उनकी यहाँ रूटी हुई है सो वी सी हाउ विष्णु वॉज सो मच टॉलरेंट सो मच सुप्रीम कम्पेयर टू ब्रह्मा एंड शिवा सो ब्रिगो मुनि कुड अंडरस्टैंड द सुप्रीम पोजिशन ऑफ लॉर्ड विष्णु तो इससे ब्रिगो मुनि ने पता लगाया कि इतना सहनशीलता तो कोई साधारण व्यक्ति में हो ही नहीं सकता क्योंकि तो ये तो सचमुच भगवान होंगे इसलिए सहन कर सकते हैं जैसे बच्चा मा, आ, माता बच्चे के लिए कुछ भी सहन करते इसी प्रकार उन्होंने समझा कि यही व्यक्ति भगवान हो सकते हैं क्योंकि इतना सहनशीलता कोई दूसरे में है नहीं सो पीपल टू कर्म योगा दे डोंट नो हु इज द सुप्रीम दे डोंट हैव एनी नॉलेज दे डोंट नो दे जस्ट वांट टू ऑफर द एंड दे थिंक ओ दे आर ऑल द गॉड तो कभी कल ऐसा दिखा जाता है कि बहुत सारे लोग कर्म तो करते हैं कर्मयोग भी करते हैं लेकिन वो ये नहीं जानते कि भाई कर्म किसको अर्पण किया जाए तो जिसके माध्यम से करने से हम कर्म बंधन नहीं पड़ सकते हैं क्योंकि सब सोचते हैं कि सब जो जिसको भी पूजा करेंगे तो वो श्रेष्ठ हो जाएगा ऐसी बात नहीं है सो मेनी डिफरेंट डीज सो मेनी डिफरेंट गॉड्स विच वन इज देर ऑल दुप्रीम देर ऑल गॉड इज ऑल वन दिस इज वट पीपल आर थिंकिंग तो साधारण लोग ऐसा सोचते हैं कि सब एक ही हैं चाहे जिसको भी हम मानेंगे तो ऐसा नहीं है क्योंकि शास्त्र में स्पष्ट क्लियर के साथ बताया गया है बट इफ वी रीड अ लिटल मोर इन टू द शास्त्र स्टडी द शास्त्र मोर केयरफुलन वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड देर देर इज अनस बट देर इज ऑल्सो अ डिफरेंस एंड देर इज अल्टीमेटली देर इज वन सुप्रीम ओवर एवरी वन तो हम यदि शास्त्र को अच्छी तरह से अध्ययन करेंगे 
तो हमको समझ में आएगा क्योंकि उधर में एकत्व के बारे में बताया गया है लेकिन साथ में परम भगवान के बारे में बताया गया है तो इस प्रकार हम समझ सकते हैं कि एक होते हुए भी हम अनेक हैं लेकिन सब अनेकों का एक जो है वो सबसे शक्तिशाली है उससे बड़ा दूसरा कोई नहीं हो सकता न Sometimes we think Lord Shiva, He's the God, He's the supreme. तो कभी कभी हम सोचते हैं कि शिव जी ही सबसे बड़े हैं, वो ही परम भगवान हैं, तब सोचते हैं. And people even say from Ramayana, we know in the past times of Lord Ram, Lord Ram worshipped Lord Shiva before he went over to Lanka to fight with Ravan. He took the blessings from Lord Shiva. तो कभी कभी लोग बताते हैं रामायण से कि भगवान राम ने भी शिव जी की पूजा की थी जब लंका जाने से पहले. You know why Lord Rama was worshiping Shiva then? The reason was he was telling Lord Shiva, "I'm going to go there to kill your devotee." So, बताया गया कि भगवान राम ने क्यों शिवजी की पूजा की थी? क्योंकि शिवजी ये राम ये बताना चाह रहे थे कि मैं तुम्हारे भक्त को मारने जा रहा हूँ इसलिए तुम्हारी पूजा कर रहा हूँ. Oh, Ravan was a great devotee of Lord Shiva, so Lord Rama was telling Lord Shiva, "I'm going to go and kill your devotee." Ravan Shiva ji ka param bhakta thi, isliye unhone kya kya Shiva ji bata rahe the ki, main aapki bhakta ko maarne ja raha hu. Actually, wo bata na chahte the Shiva ji ko. Aslo puja to nahi kar rahe the, wo bata rahe the ki main tuhare bhakta ko maarne ja raha hu. Actually, Lord Shiva, he is also a devotee of the Supreme Lord. And he also chants the holy name. वास्तव में शिवजी भी भगवान के परम भक्त थे और वो भी हमेशा भगवान के नाम पे आनंद लेते रहते नाम का जप करते रहते हैं. Lord Shiva chants the name. Actually, Lord Shiva is a great devotee of Sankarshan. The snakes on the body of Lord Shiva are Sankarshan, and Lord Shiva is very devoted to Sankarshan. तो शिवजी का जो इष्ट देव है वो शंकर शर्म भगवान है जो शेषनाग के रूप में रहते हैं इसलिए शिवजी अपने गले में नाक को रखे क्योंकि वो उनके इष्ट देव है लॉर्ड शिवा आल्सो चेंज द नेम ऑफ लॉर्ड राम और भगवान राम के नाम के भी बहुत प्रेमी है वो नाम जब करते रहते राम नाम वन टाइम Parvati was getting ready Lord Shiva's consort Parvati she wanted to chant the 1000 names of Lord Vishnu But Lord Shiva told her, "You don't need to chant all these names of Vishnu. You just simply chant the name of Lord Ram. That's enough." So, जब पार्वती एक बार सब विष्णु सासर नाम बोल रही थी, सासर नाम अभी Ri Rame Rame Namo Rame Sahasra Nama Bhistu Nam Sri Rama Nama Varanini. Right, the holy name of Lord Vishnu. One thousand names of Vishnu is equal to one name of Lord Ram. So Shiva Ji was telling the Parvati that you have so many names of Vishnu Sahasra Nama, so many names of Bhagwan Vishnu. So you have so many names of Vishnu Sahasra Nama, so many names of Bhagwan Vishnu. So you have so many names of Vishnu Sahasra Nama, so many names of Bhagwan Vishnu. आप जब करोगे तो एक राम नाम में आ जाएगा एक राम बोलने से हजार विष्णु नाम हो जाता है तो आप राम का एक एक बार करने से हजार नाम हो जाएगा तो आप उधर क्यों करोगे ये करो करके शिव जी पार्वती को सिखा रहे थे सो लॉर्ड शिवा हिमसेल्फ नोस द ग्लोरीज ऑफ द होली नेम ऑफ द लॉर्ड एंड लॉर्ड शिवा इज टेलिंग हिज वाइफ यू नो यू चेंज द होली नेम ऑफ लॉर्ड राम तो शिव जी भगवान नाम के महिमा को जानते थे क्योंकि वो तो परम भक्त भी है इसलिए अपनी पत्नी को बता रहे थे कि ये राम नाम का जप करो करके If you go to Tirupati, there's an ashram there, Hati Ram Swami, and he is a great devotee. And you you can see also how the devotees there, they all worship Lord Ram, and they chant the name of Ram. So, if we go to Tirupati, there is an ashram there, Hati Ram Ashram. So, in that ashram, there are many things about Ram Ji Baba. So, Lord Ram. He is one of the forms of the Lord, but he is also not actually the supreme original Swayam Bhagavan. He is an avatar of the Lord, and he is showing the pastimes of the Lord as the perfect king. 
He is also Maryada avatar. He is showing the perfect etiquette in the dealings with people. So, the Ram is the God, but he is not in the form of God. Because God is in the house of God, he is in the form of God. He is in the form of God, he is in the form of God. तो एक प्रकार से भगवान के अवतार हैं लेकिन वो कुछ शिक्षा देने के लिए आए थे इसलिए पूर्ण रूप में नहीं आए क्योंकि वो मर्यादा में आए थे कुछ नियम उन्होंने पालन किया जो भगवान वो के पालन करने का जरूरत नहीं था इसलिए उन्होंने ये नियम पालन किए थे लॉर्ड रामा फॉर एग्जांपल ही इज वेरी अबीडियन to his mother and father. When his father tells him one day you're going to be the king, he said yes. And then the next night his father said, no, I, instead I don't want you to be king, I want you to go to the forest, go into exile for, for so many years. So Lord Rama said, yes, no problem father. Immediately he goes and does, he will do whatever the father says. <laughs> तो उन्होंने बोला राज्य मिल रहा है फिर भी ठीक है वनवास जा रहे हैं फिर भी ठीक है कोई उनमें बदलाव नहीं था तो ये उन्होंने पितृ आज्ञा का पालन किया एंड ऑफ कोर्स हिज कॉन्सोर्ट मदर सीता शी रिटर्न टू द अर्थ आफ्टर डिलीवरिंग द ट्विन सन्स लव एंड कुश मदर सीता वेंट बैक इन टू द अर्थ बट लॉर्ड रामा टुक अ वाव नेवर टू टेक अनदर वाइफ ही मेड दिस एकपत निव्रत Although he is a great king, and kings can have many wives, but Lord Ramachandra, he wants to show a perfect example, Maryada avatar. He only took the one wife. So, when Sita gave love to his love, and he was in the Dharati Mata, but after that, the Lord Ramachandra said, I will not do the other wife, because the Lord Ramachandra was able to do the other wife, and the Lord Ramachandra was able to do the other wife. He said, I will not do the other wife, but I will not do the other wife. When Lord Ramachandra was in exile, he was going through the forest and he met many great sages who had their ashrams and, and many of these sages, they were attracted to Lord Rama and they wanted to enjoy pastimes with him. They wanted to experience amorous pastimes in the association of Lord Rama. But Lord Rama told them, in this life it will not be possible, but you come in my next incarnation and you can take part and we can have amorous pastimes then. So, when Bhagavan Ram was in the past, in that time, he had a lot of people who had a lot of people. So, when he saw the Bhagavan Ram, he was surprised. So, he was surprised that he wanted to find the Bhagavan Ram in the form of the Bhagavan Ram. He was in the form of the Bhagavan Ram, but he was in the form of the Bhagavan Ram. तो भगवान तो समझ गए क्योंकि वो तो अंतर्यामी थे तो बोले कि इस बार तो मैं ऐसा नहीं कर पाऊंगा लेकिन अगले बार मैं अवश्य तुम्हारी इच्छा पूरा कर सकता हूँ क्योंकि इस बार मैं मर्यादा में आया हूँ सो आफ्टर लॉर्ड लॉर्ड रामा द नेक्स्ट इंकरनेशन इस लॉर्ड कृष्णा and at that time, all those great sages who were attracted to Lord Rama, they all took birth in Vraja, in the land of Vrindavan, and they took birth in the families of gopis. They became gopis. And in this way, these gopis, they also took part in Krishna's pastimes and danced in Rasa Vila with Krishna. So, when the second Krishna तो उस समय में जितने भी जो ऋषि मुनि थे दंड कार्य में जो भगवान को प्रेम करते थे मतलब पति रूप में पाना चाहते थे या प्रेमी के रूप में तो सारे जो ऋषि मुनि थे ब्रज में वृंदावन में जाके गोपी के यहाँ जन्म लिए उन्होंने तो वो गोपी सारे बन गए तो उस अवस्था में भगवान ने उन सबको जो आनंद प्रदान किया जो गोपी के भाव में वो सब उन्होंने कर दिया सो लॉर्ड रामचंद्र ही कम्स टू शो perfect behavior and the perf and how to be the perfect ruler, the perfect king. But Lord Krishna, he comes to display the pastimes of the spiritual world. So Bhagavan Ram came and he taught him the Maryada. What is the Maryada of a Maryada? What is the Maryada of a Maryada? और प्रजा को किस प्रकार से पालन किया जाता है तो ये मर्यादा उन्होंने दिखा के गए लेकिन भगवान कृष्ण आए तो इस मर्यादा में वो नहीं आए वो पूर्ण रूप में आए और उन्होंने लीला दिखाया जो गोलोक वृंदावन में होता है मतलब उधर उधर का छवि इधर रात में उन्होंने दिखाया हम सबको in the past times of the spiritual world are things like Rasa Lila, Krishna dancing with the gopis. 
these are not, and this pastime of Rasa Lila is nothing to do with the material world. It has nothing to do with mundane love affairs. It's a very pure transcendental pastime of Lord Krishna. So Lord Krishna has these special attributes which are there only in Him, which are not found in any other avatar of the Lord. Although Lord Krishna has many avatars, He Himself is a, not just an avatar, He is the source of all the avatars. And there are four special qualities which are only found in Lord Krishna. They're not found in Brahma, they're not found in Shiva, they're not even found in Vishnu, Narayan. They're only, they're unique to Lord Krishna. So Lord Krishna is not just any ordinary avatar, he is the Swayam Bhagavan. It's stated in the Bhagavad Purana, Ete Chamsa, Ete Chamsa Kala Pumsa, Krishna's to Bhagavan Swayam. He is the original form of the Lord and all the avatars are coming from Him. So Krishna is not just a person, he is a person who is a person who is a person who is a person who is a person Krishna's to Bhagavan Swayam, because Krishna is a person who 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 is a person. Even Lord Vishnu is subordinate to Krishna. It is Krishna who is the original candle. And from that one candle, many other candles are lit. But the heat and the light may be the same. Under four, the four, I said four special qualities which are only in Krishna. One is that he performs these wonderful pastimes like the Rasa Lila. Another quality unique to Krishna is that his flute playing attracts living entities all over the creation. When Lord Krishna plays the flute, it is said that even the Yamuna stops flowing. The waves on the, usually the Yamuna is flowing fast to the sea. There's a strong current, but when the Krishna plays on the flute, the Yamuna becomes stunned and still. <laughs> The calves are drinking the milk from the udder of their cow, mother cow, but when they hear the sound of Krishna's flute, they become stunned and tears begin to flow from their eyes in ecstasy. So, 
And the peacocks, all the animals, all the deer, they all become ecstatic hearing the sound of Krishna's flute. The demigods are flying in their airplanes with their wives going to different planets in the heavenly planets. And when they hear the sound of Krishna's flute, they also become stunned and their clothing also becomes loosened just hearing the sound of Krishna's flute. तो जब स्वर्ग के देवता विमान में चढ़ के विचरण करते थे तो भगवान की बात सुनी सुनते ही वो भूल जाते थे कि हम किधर जा रहे हैं और किधर के लिए निकले हुए थे भूल जाते थे इतना मग्न हो जाते थे और जो अप्सराएं या तो देवता की पत्नियां थी वो बांसुरी सुनने के बाद अपने वस्त्र को भी संभालना भूल जाती वो ढीली पड़ के कभी कभी गिर भी जाते थे ऐसा हो जाता था so the, the flute playing of Krishna is very, very special. And that, it's said also, the sound of Krishna's flute is a, not different from Gayatri Mantra. Another quality of Krishna which is unique to him is his exquisite beauty, that he is so attractive, that he, when he sees his reflection, even he becomes bewildered and thinks, who is this wonderful, amazing person? So we all, everyone has some kind of beauty, but nobody has beauty to equal Lord Krishna. He is the most attractive, the supreme attractive person. So we all have some kind of beauty, but nobody has beauty to equal Lord Krishna. He is the most attractive, the supreme attractive person. Okay. And then one more quality of Krishna is that he's always surrounded with his loving devotees. He's never alone. Just like a king, just like a king. <laughs> Just, just like the king doesn't come on its own, it comes with his entourage. So Krishna also comes when he manifests in this world. He doesn't just come alone, but he comes with all of his devotees, different devotees, they also appear. So when Bhagavan Krishna is here, he doesn't come alone. He comes with all of his devotees. We see... Uh, before Krishna comes, first of all, the different people like Nanda Maharaj, Mother Yashoda, Vasudeva and Devaki, they all appear first of all. Even Lord Balaram, Krishna's older brother, he also has to come. And they all make arrangements for the appearance of Krishna. So, before Krishna comes, our mother, our mother, Balaram, and so this is why we estab it's established by study of the Shastra and different information in the scripture that Lord Krishna is the original Supreme Personality of Godhead. There are many other gods, but it is Krishna who is the Supreme, the Absolute Truth. Lord Krishna himself says in the Bhagavad Gita, Mataparataramnanya Kinchadasti Dhananjaya. 
mai sarvam idam sutram sutri mani gana eva is krishna is telling arjuna there is no truth superior to me everything rests on me just like pearls are strung on a thread par khud bhagavad gita mein bhagwan bolte hain ki mat paratram nanda mujh se pare kuch bhi nahi hai jis prakar se jitne bhi mala hoti hain mala ke jo dane wo dhage mein kya ho jati hai badhe hue hain agar wo dhaga toot gaya to mala kya ho jayega bikhar jayega isi tarah ye sare sansar brahmand sab kuch mujh mein tika hua hai only krishna is saying this Lord Shiva never never says I'm the highest truth. Lord Brahma never says. Uma never says this. Durga never says this. Kali never says this. Only Krishna says there is no truth higher than me. And this is Krishna's statement, and this is an actual fact. So, and this is the thing that Bhagwan Krishna said. Such a thing, no other deity has ever said. Until now, no other deity has ever said. Shiva has never said. Brahma has never said. Durga has never said. Kali has never said. ऐसा नहीं बोला कि और भगवान बोल रहे हैं कि मैं ही परम सत्य मुझसे बड़ा सत्य दूसरा कुछ नहीं है करके भगवान खुद बोले हैं तो इसलिए भगवान की स्टेटमेंट है जो भगवान ने बोल दिया बस बोल दिया क्योंकि उसको दूसरा कोई बोलने से कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता तो ये जो भगवान की ही वाणी है now i can understand you are the supreme truth in the past i had already heard it from great sages like asita and devala and vyas and narada they had all said that krishna is the supreme but then arjuna said now i know also that you are the supreme i also accept to jab bhagavad gita sun rahe the arjun to unko ye samajh mein aa gaya tha isliye unhone bola ki abhi mujhe bhi pata chal gaya ki aap hi purna bhagwan ho क्यों क्योंकि पहले से मैं सुन के तो आया था लेकिन आज मुझे भी प्रत्यक्ष हो रहा है क्योंकि व्यास देव नारद मुनि असित देवल ये बड़े बड़े ऋषियों ने भी यही बात किया है कि आप ही परम भगवान हो और इस बात को आज मुझे भी समझ में आ रहा है केवल मैं ही नहीं बोल रहा हूँ सारे ऋषि मुनि भी यही बोल रहे करके और जब भी भगवदगीता में बोलते हैं वन सुप्रीम एकला ईश्वरा कृष्ण और सब वृत्या One supreme controller above everyone. All others are his servants. This is the position. So, Ekala is Sura Krishna. He is telling us that in the Gita, that only Krishna is Ekala. He is the God, and the others are all his servants. So, somebody is doing karma yoga. They don't know who is the supreme, but they're sacrifice. They want to sacrifice. They want to give up. They're detached from the work. They want to go, do some charity. They want to do some good. And so they don't know who is the supreme, so they give something, but they don't really have any knowledge. जो कर्म यो करते हैं कभी कभी ये पता नहीं होता है कि परम सत्य क्या है। इसलिए वो कुछ तो करते हैं, लेकिन उसे कुछ तो जरूर मिलता है, ऐसा नहीं कि नहीं मिलता है, लेकिन परम सत्य जो वस्तु है, वो आसान से प्राप्त नहीं होता। But because they are making the sacrifice, because they are doing some good thing, they are offering something. So then the devotee will come and give them knowledge, give them some gyan. So from karma yoga, they can come to the higher level. They can become gyani, gyana. They can develop some knowledge which is a bit higher than karma. So इस प्रकार कर्म योग करते करते कुछ न कुछ उनमें क्या हो जाती है कि आपकी भावना आ जाती है क्योंकि कुछ अर्पण करना चाहिए योग में तो तो ऐसे जब करते हुए धीरे-धीरे क्या हो जाएगा कभी कभी कोई भक्त मिल जाएगा उनको तो ऐसे में उनको उपदेश मिलने से वो क्या करता है वो कर्म योग से और थोड़ा ऊपर जाएगा और ज्ञान योग के स्तर में आ जाएगा वो कुछ ज्ञान अर्जित करेगा ना विद ज्ञान वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड इट्स गोइंग टू टेक टाइम टू प्रोग्रेस कृष्णा सेस इन द भागवत गीता बाहु नाम जन्म नाम अंते ज्ञान वम मम प्रपद्यन्ते वासुदेव सर्वमिति after many births and death one who is actually in knowledge they surrender to me krishna said so understand by gyan is going to take time many births to gyan ke madhyam se jayenge to bahut janma lag sakte hain bhagavad gita mein bhagwan khud bolte hain bahunam janma namante gyana varnam prapadyate vaasheva sarvamiti samhatma sudur lag bhagwan bolte hain aise bahut sare gyaniyon mein koi ek bhi ladai mujhe jaan sakta hai kyunki bahut janma lag sakte hain तो ये भी बहुत लंबा प्रोसेस है। But 
if we, if we, if we, from that gyan, if we get some devotion, if we start to awaken some devotion for the Supreme Lord Krishna, then that can give us the greatest benefit. Just a little bit of devotion can give us the greatest benefit, save us from the greatest danger. So, it's devotion which Krishna is actually interested in, which attracts him. Krishna is saying, you can make offerings to him. You know, he says, patram, pushpam, palam, toyam, offer this leaf, flower, fruit, water to me. Is Krishna anxious to get our offerings? He doesn't care about our offerings. He's got a lot of fruit and flowers. He's got goddesses of fortune all serving him. So he's not anxious to get fruit and flowers from us. But what he wants is the bhakti, the devotion. That is the attractive thing. <laughs> So Krishna wants our heart, right? Krishna is a thief. He's known as Hari, means chore, right? He's muck and chore, he's a butter thief. He stole the clothes of the gopis and he steals also the hearts of his devotees. Krishna's pastimes are very special. They have to be understood by devotion. You have to hear them from the devotee. If we hear from the non-devotees, then we will not understand. Just like chanting the holy name, there are many people also who chant the name. They may not be devotees and then they will not have the good effect. Just like milk, if it's touched by the serpent, touched by the serpent, then it will have a poisonous effect. So the same way, if we hear the holy name from people who are not devotees, then it doesn't have a good effect, it has a bad effect. So, so some people think, no, it's all the same, it's all one, it's not, it's, every, it's just a chanting Hare Krishna and worshipping Krishna, but we should understand it's not the same and the effect is not the same. You can judge by the result. Just like there are many Bhagavad Gita's 
And so many people may say, Oh, yeah, Bhagavad Gita, I know Bhagavad Gita, I've got Bhagavad Gita, I know Bhagavad Gita. But they never heard the real message. They didn't hear Bhagavad Gita as it is. They did not get connected through the disciplic succession. They simply heard someone's own interpretation of Bhagavad Gita. so we get so many false commentators commentators presenting their message sometimes they present their political message sometimes they present their own speculations like somebody said Oh, Krishna, he's like a doctor, and Arjuna, he's like a patient. So, you bring your disease to Krishna, and Krishna can cure your disease. So, there are many people who use the wrong way to use Bhagavad Gita, or use it as a friend. So, some people say that, like Krishna is a doctor, and Arjuna is a disease. So, when we go to the disease, we will go to Krishna, and Krishna will fix our disease, and we will fix our disease. And so the result is so many sick people come with their disease to try to get cured from Bhagavad Gita. And Bhagavad Gita is meant to cure the material disease, the ignorance. That is a real disease, not just some physical disease in the body but the disease which is there in the mind, the ignorance which covers the real consciousness of the living entity. So Bhagavad Gita is a very difficult thing to do in the world, but what kind of disease is it? Our mind's disease. It's not a human disease, because the mind of our mind is clean, it's clean from the mind of our mind. So this Bhagavad Gita which we are using, this is Bhagavad Gita as it is presented as Krishna taught it to Arjuna, as in the message which is passed on through the line of disciplic succession, which was established by Krishna himself. Mm. So, in this age, Lord Chaitanya and Lord Nityananda, they appeared to pre 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 preach this message of Bhagavad Gita and to teach devotion to Krishna, to everyone, through the chanting of the Holy Name. In this Kali Yuga, Kali Yuga Dharma Harinam Sankirtan Krishna Shakti Vininahi Tara Pravartan The Dharma, the process in this age of Kali is the chanting of the Holy Name. And to propagate this chanting of the Holy Name, we need the energy, the power to come from Lord Krishna. Then we can be successful. So, Kali Yuga Dharma hai, Harinam Sankirtan, Bhagavan ka naam. Lekin ye Bhagavan ke shakti ke bina nahi ho sakta hai. So by the grace of Lord Krishna, this Krishna consciousness movement is going on all over the world. People are chanting, people are taking the message of Bhagavad Gita very seriously. So we encourage all of you also, take this message very seriously. Study this Bhagavad Gita, chant the holy name and worship Krishna. So 
Are there any questions? Yes. Uh, Maharaj, uh, there is one more question. Can you please uh, repeat one more time these four special qualities of uh, Lord Krishna that he has? Yeah. तो प्रश्न था कि जो भगवान कृष्ण के जो विशेष चार गुण जो हैं उनको फिर एक बार बोलेंगे करके पूछा गया है। We said Krishna is always with his surrounded with his devotees. कृष्ण हमेशा अपने भक्तों के साथ रहते हैं। Second one was Krishna has exquisite beauty. दूसरा जो है भगवान बहुत सुंदर है उनसे दूसरा सुंदर कोई नहीं है। Third one he performs wonderful pastimes. और वो विशेष प्रकार के लीला प्रदर्शन करते हैं। and the fourth one was his flute playing, which attracts people all over the creation. No karma kind is a, we said it's a material activity. It's not on the yoga ladder. It's not spiritual. Something which we do for our own benefit. We want something, we want to get some material blessings or something. So you do some ritual, you go to a temple and you worship, and you do some worship too. But your motive is to get something for yourself, material. But karma yoga is doing is working, doing your duty, but surrendering something, some portion of the result. And you should understand the difference then between karma yoga and bhakti yoga. That in karma yoga we are thinking, I am giving this to Krishna. But in Bhakti Yoga, we understand everything is Krishna. I'm just giving what is His. So Bhakti Yoga is the highest platform. It's the top of the Yoga ladder. We have to go through the Karma Maybe we begin on karma kanda and then we come to karma yoga and then we go on and we may come to bhakti. Okay, any other questions? Well, Krishna describes in Bhagavad Gita four kinds of people who never surrender to him. Right? Namam duskriti no mudha, 
प्रपज्यंते नरादमा Good. Yeah. You see, the students are <laughs> learning. So four kinds of people who never surrender. First one, the mudha. He's like a donkey. He's just working hard like an ass all day. Yes. He won't read the Shastra, he doesn't care to hear the Shastra. He says, I have to work, I have no time for this, I have to do my work. The Shastra is not going to feed me, I have to work to get my food. Mm. Like, <laughs> you're speaking. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, Naradama, somebody is born in a good family may have a good birth, a devotee family or a Brahmin family, good birth, but he's no interest. He said, ah, I don't care about this. And then Maya Aparita Jnana, knowledge stolen by illusion. He tries to understand everything by his own intelligence. He doesn't hear from the parampara, from the acharyas. He just speculates with his own mind. And then the Asura, Baba Mashrita, those, those who are uh, atheistic and demonic, blasphemers, they don't want to accept that there's any God. They think, I'm God myself. Or they will say, this is God, money, money is God. And sometimes they will even be offensive and blaspheme devotees. So these people will never surrender to Krishna. So that's why. <laughs> Although the Shastras say these things, people don't want to hear. They, you know, they, they think, ah, oh, why I hear you? Why should I hear you? There's so many Shastras, so many other things to hear. Let me hear Bollywood movies, let me hear te television, let me hear the newspapers. <laughs> So these are unfortunate people. They're not ready. They have no interest. For, so this material world is created for them the world of birth and death. They will remain here, birth after birth, take birth again and again in different species of life. So we have free will. Krishna gives us that choice. It's up to us if we want to stay here. Okay, you know, the world, this material world is here for you. Just stay here and take birth and die and again and again. So, I'm choose to say that I'm going to go to the house and I'm going to go to the 
अगर इधर रहना चाहते तो बोले ठीक है इधर रहो जितना भी दुख कष्ट है सहते रहो और इधर से जितना ज्यादा छुटकारा पाना चाहते हो तो मैं तैयार हूँ घर के भगवान भी रेडी आपको लेके जाने के लिए And sometimes you get people even say, "Oh, what's the harm if I become a dog? It's very nice. The dogs they have a good time. They play all day and fight with each other. And, oh, I don't mind. So okay, then we bless you. Become the dog." I say, "Look, yeah, that they will say that the cat's skin is milky. What difference does it make? Because the cat is eating all day, playing, eating, and eating. So these people, what do they do? They want to become cats. So Maharaj says, "Okay, these people want to become cats. Okay, we give them the blessing of the cat. We give them the blessing of the cat. We give them the blessing of the cat." You see, even you're in that body, people are so foolish, they're so blind and ignorant. They think, oh, it's okay, I'm comfortable, I'm happy. One time Indra got cursed by his guru, he it was offensive to his guru, his guru cursed him to become a pig. And Indra took birth in a pig body. And then he was in the pig body for a long time. And then the guru came and said, "Okay, now you should come back." But Indra said, "No, I'm happy here. Why I'll come? Why I'll leave here? Look, I have my pig family. I have my pig wives. I have my pig children here. I want. I get big buckets of food every day. I'm having a nice time here as a pig. Why I will leave here?" Hey, स्वर्ग जो गुरु देव बृहस्पति देव उन्होंने इंद्र को शाप दिया था तो शाप के कारण वो सुअर बन गए थे तो जब वो सुअर के शरीर में थे तो वो बड़ा आनंद में रह रहे थे उनकी सुअर पत्नी थी बच्चे थे तो जब उनका टाइम खत्म हो गया तो बृहस्पति बुलाने आ गए चलो तुम्हारा समय खत्म हो गया स्वर्ग चलेंगे लेकिन वो सुअर रूप इंद्र बोलते हैं कि भाई स्वर्ग में क्या आनंद इधर का जैसा खाना मिलेगा मुझे इतना आनंद में मैं रह रहा हूँ इधर में इतना कीचड़ है उधर में है क्या नहीं मुझे मैं ठीक हूँ इधर ही रहना चाहता हूँ करके सुअर बद बोलते हैं So, Guru went to get the butcher. The butcher came with a big knife. He said, "Where's the big fat pig?" So that was Indra. Indra saw the butcher coming with a big knife and, "Ah, you take me." So, then, Brahmadhi, the butcher's house. Then, Brahmadhi came with a big knife. So, Indra said, "Where's the big fat pig?" So, Brahmadhi came with a big knife. So, Indra said, "Where's the big fat pig?" So, Brahmadhi came with a big knife. So, Indra said, "Where's the big fat pig?" So, Brahmadhi came with a big knife. So, Indra said, "Where's the big fat pig?" So, Brahmadhi came with a big knife. So, Indra said, "Where's the big fat pig?" So, Brahmadhi came with a big knife. So, Indra said, "Where's the big fat pig?" So, Brahmadhi came with a big knife. So, Indra said, "Where's the big fat pig?" So, Brahmadhi came with a big knife. So material life is like that, you know. Even we're, we're so blind, we we don't appreciate how much suffering there is in this world. We're thinking, I'm happy here. I'm having a nice time here, Patia, very nice. We have the sea breeze, you know. Nice how people come all over the world from all over the world to enjoy here, and I can live here every day. I'm happy here, but. How long can you stay here? तो बहुत सारे लोग सोचते हैं कि इतना अच्छा जगह है इधर में इधर ही रहना चाहते हैं हम इधर तो पूरे संसार भर के लोग आते हैं घूमने के लिए और हम इधर ही सुखी हैं करके हम सोचते हैं लेकिन वास्तव में हम कितना दिन तक रहेंगे इधर में? One day we're going to have to leave. Where are we going to go? Where is the next birth? We have to think about that. और एक दिन तो हमको इधर से जाना है लेकिन जाएंगे किधर? तो ये इसके बारे में सोच के तैयार करना है तो कृष्ण स्पीकिंग भागवत गीता टेलिंग ऑल ऑफ अस सरेंडर टू मी इसीलिए भगवान ने भगवत गीता बोले और मेरे शरण में आ जाओ तब काम बनेगा सो इट्स अप टू अस व्हाट डू वी वांट टू सरेंडर इफ वी डोंट देन वी सरेंडर टू माया वी हैव टू सरेंडर टू द मटेरियल एनर्जी We're never free. Either we're controlled by Krishna or we're controlled by the Maya, the illusion of this material world. And we're never free. Either we're controlled by Krishna or we're controlled by the Maya, the illusion of this material world. And we're never free. Either we're controlled by Krishna or we're controlled by the Maya, the illusion of this material world. And we're never free. Either we're controlled by Krishna or we're controlled by the Maya, the illusion of this material world. And we're never free. Either we're controlled by Krishna or we're controlled by Krishna doesn't force us. Okay, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Shri Mad Bhagavad Gita ki. Shri Mad Prabhupad ki. Shri Mad Pramanand ki. Hey, Sonia, as Bhagavad Gita, Narasimha Swami Maharaj ki. Hey, Bhagavad Gita, Narasimha Swami Maharaj ki.